Hello friends, welcome to Tech Master. My name is Gaurav Parab and today we are here to see how we can format Nokia 5800 which has a custom firmware. There are several cases where we go ahead and format our phone, any phone that may be. Today we are going to format Nokia 5800. So in the case of slow or if there is a virus, if there is any malware, you just go ahead and format the phone. So there are some prerequisites that are needed to be followed before we go ahead and format the phone. You just need to take a backup of the data that you have except, except the settings and the internet files or whatever. You just go ahead and take the contacts, messages or calendars. Okay, And also you just need to remove the memory card before you go ahead and do the hard reset. So guys, as we told that we are going to format or hard reset Nokia 5800. This is the Nokia 5800 with a custom firmware. You can see this. Over here, the screen, the icons. It is totally different. It is not like a normal 5800. So these are the icons that we got after putting in the custom firmware. So let's go ahead and do the hard reset. So before doing that, we just need to take a backup and remove the memory card. Backup I have done. You can choose your backup data according to your use. Make sure that you do not backup the settings and internet files. So I'll just go ahead and switch off the phone and remove the memory card. Here it goes. it's off and also I have a privacy guard so there may be a brightness issue you might see face that it is low but it is just a dark screen now we just need to go ahead and remove the memory card I'm just showing you the memory card needs to be removed but it is not needed to remove the battery but I'm just showing it as my phone is old, the buttons are removed. Just bear with me. You can see both of the buttons are removed. So now my Nokia 5800 is ready to be hard reset. So to hard reset, I have to take a backup of my data there is only sim card battery needs to be full or at least half the battery should not be low because the boot up files that start up after hard reset takes a lot of memory and power so it might drain your battery as soon as possible and it may also corrupt the firmware so here we go to hard reset we just need to press the call button, the end button, the camera button three at a time and the power button and the phone should be off. So all the four buttons should be pressed at a time and we need to press and hold all the buttons till the start, the system starts, the booting starts and the phone starts up. I'll let you know when to remove the button, when to remove the hand from the button. So here we go. These three buttons are pressed. Did you hear that vibrating sound? Just remove the hand finger from the power button. Press and hold all the three buttons over here. Till the booting up comes up. This screen is not familiar to many of them because this is a custom firmware. As we get the Nokia connecting people, we have a different screen over here. All together. It's booting up. You can see initializing Skyfire, that is a custom name. It is initializing the files. You can see the new system defined custom firmware loaded on the phone 
and also one thing as we do it for the other phones it comes up very soon this would take some more time to come up with everything because it has many inbuilt features so it would take time to load so this is how we do the hard reset of Nokia 5800 okay and there is nothing else this is just loading so it might take some time so friends we are set to use a Nokia 5800 with custom firmware as we I had the custom base inside my phone it is as new as with the custom firmware if you have your original software or the firmware it would be as new as you had it from the first day so just go ahead and enjoy your new phone thank you for watching our video stay tuned for more videos that would be coming soon just subscribe to www.youtube.com slash thank you